Leaving the running bag. Leaving the running bag. This is weird. First time in, I don't know, uh, almost nine months that I have not had to grab my running bag before going off to work. Leaving the running bag. All right. Here we go. Taking that break. Taking that break, everybody. Back from work, what a day. The day goes quickly, right? It always goes quickly as runners because you're trying to fit in a workout, work, family life. It's just like days go quick. So you gotta live in the moment, live in the moment as I like to say. All right, here just hanging out with the t-shirt. And by the way, we're gonna talk about work later in the week. That's coming up, stay tuned. But first, I, before the sun goes down, I wanna talk about the t-shirt and this t-shirt. This is officially my favorite t-shirt in the entire world, right here. Oh, besides this one, of course, right, Jeff? But this one is actually more comfortable. So, I am listening to your comments. I'm reading your comments on Strava here on YouTube. And bottom line, you all are very interested in acquiring this t-shirt, which Jeff designed. Jeff is a fan. Of, I did not ask Jeff to do this. I did not ask anybody to do this. Jeff did this out of his own inspiration and motivation. And it's amazing. And Jeff, thank you again. And basically, a lot of people want this t-shirt now. So, we're coming up with a strategy. In fact, I am uh, talking with Jeff and talking with the designer and we're gonna get this t-shirt printed for all of you. But I need to figure out basically the framework for accepting um, orders of this t-shirt. Here's where I'm at with this t-shirt design. It appears we have struck a chord with people across America and around the world. And it's amazing and it's inspiring. You, you out there, you're inspiring me to continue moving forward. And this t-shirt is just a one little sign that we probably have struck a chord in a good way because we all love, it appears, based on your comments and just your re how much you are committed to watching these daily vlogs, you're committed to seeking beauty, working hard through your running and loving each other. Therefore, I, um, I love this design. I think it's amazing. Uh, it's, I, like, I had no idea what was showing up at my door a couple days ago. And therefore, I had ideas in my mind for t-shirt designs. It wasn't this, and that's okay. But I love this. And here's, so here's where I'm at. Basically, I need to get my ducks in a row with respect to a little bit more branding for this YouTube channel moving forward. And I've got people I'm talking to. Listen, I'm not a graphic designer. It's not my thing. I like video production, graphic design, not my thing, all right? But I know people who are really, really good at it. And so what I'm thinking is that this t-shirt right here will be the first t-shirt available for this family, this YouTube family, all right? This one right here. And therefore, it'll be a limited release, a limited edition release t-shirt. So I'm not gonna, maybe, you know, maybe down the road it'll come back out. But for now, I'm thinking that uh, True Love and I will be able to print X amount of t-shirts. And as soon as they are available, and I'm not sure where yet, but when they are available, I will let you know, of course, and then boom. Whoever gets them, gets them, and then they'll kind of be done. And again, I wanna make sure that any articles of clothing that are branded with this channel are high quality, and yes, yes, I'm gonna say it right now, could be worn on a long run. Like, I would wear this, and it's, this is not a dry fit t-shirt, this orange one, but they, I would wear this on a 20 mile run. It's that comfortable. It's, it's just absolutely incredible. So. That's where I'm at with the design process. Thank you for listening to that, and I'm excited. Stay tuned for when this t-shirt will be available. I'm working on it right now. Whew. All right, time to open a box that arrived in the mail. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ah, 2018 is coming to an end. Yesterday was my last run of 2018. It was a little strange today, not going for a run, I'll be honest, and not to share that run with you here on YouTube, but this is reality. I got a rest for two weeks, 
no running, just rest. I'm so excited. Um, but your comments from yesterday's vlog about overtraining, just so you know, in my humble opinion, I think they're the best comments ever uh, with respect to the entire community really diving in to sharing their experience with running and specifically about overtraining. They're blowing me away. They're just blowing me away. All right, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Folks, 365 days ago, I set five goals for running in 2018. Five goals. How did I do? Let's look back. Here is goal number one. Number one, stay healthy. Number one, stay healthy. That if, you, if you're not healthy, you can't run, all right? So there's a lot of different ways to stay healthy. I know I'm going to get injured, but it's how you deal with those injuries. After 20 years of running, that's right, I started running in 97, 98. Woo! Get a little old. Uh, yeah, so I've dealt with my fair share of injuries, whether it's stress fractures, plantar fasciitis, uh, tendonitis. Um, what's the one on your knee? Uh, your menis yeah, your meniscus. Oh my God, I've dealt with it all. So, number one to goal stay is to stay healthy. healthy. To stay healthy. That is crazy to go back and watch a year later because guess what? I called it. I got it. I got an injury. I had an injury, plantar fasciitis. Like I, I have been running for 20 years. I've been doing this long enough to just know, like, you got to be ready to roll with the punches. Now I was able to run through it. I really like. I, I def. It was not fun. It hurt at times this year with plantar fasciitis. So I did not stay completely healthy. Uh, but I also knew in my mind there's a really high likelihood that it's going to happen. But I did my best going to the gym, stretching. I need to do better in 2019. Anyway, I'm going to do a fail on goal number one. I did not stay healthy. I had plantar fasciitis and it hurt. It really hurt. So whew, that's, that's connected to 2019. We're going to talk about that at a later time. Okay. Goal number two. All right. You ready for this? Goal number two. Whew, if I stay healthy, I think I can run 400,000 vertical feet in 2018, meaning up, up a mountain, 400,000 vertical feet. That's what <laughs> I didn't, I didn't come close to that this year, 2000, or last year, 2017, but that is goal number two. Woo, a big goal, big goal, 400,000 vertical feet. So I love running uphill. You know this if you've been watching this channel for a little while. Like I just love mountain running. I'm pretty good at it. Like it's it's probably my niche is and specifically pretty steep uphill running. Not just like mount like not just hill running or rolling hills like the uphill running. 400,000 vertical feet. That was the goal. Well, I just checked on Strava. Mm, came up a little short. Came up a little short. 300 and about 25,000 vertical feet in 2018. Not bad. We'll take it. I knew it was a big goal. I remember when I picked that number 365 days ago that it was going to be a huge challenge. And I actually think there's a higher likelihood that I could hit that goal in 2019. We're going to talk about that at a later date, though. So I did not hit that goal. Goal number two. And All right. Goal number three. Goal number three. If I hit 400,000 vertical feet, I think I can reach number three. That is win a race. I want to win a race. Remember in that vlog last year, I got lost with a mile and a half, two miles to go in a half marathon in Highlands Ranch. Boo, I was not pleased. The course was not marked well. So goal number three is to win a race in 2018. Win a race, win a race. And guess what? This happened in July. But now we get to do three or four miles of uphill. This is where I'm gonna make up ground. I'm in third place. All right, let's go. Mile to go. Second place. 
second place and I are good friends in 2018. All right, that was the Under Armour 50K race at Copper Mountain. It was a 32 mile course. So two 16 mile loops. I believe there was about 6,000 feet of vertical in the race, my type of race. It was amazing. It was a great day, a fun day. I was uh, in third place, as you saw there, for most of the race. Uh, crossed the finish line in second place. Good old Strava, good old Strava. A couple people brought to the race director's attention that first and second place on the first 16 mile loop missed a turn. They And it turned out that they cut the course and cut quite a bit of the course off. It looked like about a mile and a half they cut off. So I won, I won the race. So goal number three, I accomplished that goal. I won a race. It was a little strange, a little bittersweet because I didn't cross the finish line in first because, you know, the other guy had already crossed. Uh, but it turned out that first and second place had cut the course. They didn't do it intentionally, but, you know, cutting the course is cutting the course. Like, that's just the reality of the situation. And so, yeah, I'm going to claim that as my victory in 2018. So I won a 50K race. It was a beautiful day. It was fun. And, um, yeah, so goal number three, bonus. Goal number four. Oh, goal number four is to run and complete Nolan's 14 and or, and or, a long, long, long ultra race. Probably in Colorado, but it doesn't have to be. That's where I live, in case you're watching this out of state. If you don't know what Nolan's 14 is, go watch that vlog, or just Google it and a bunch of information will come up, all right? Nolan's 14, or a long, long ultra race. No dice, no dice. I don't, so I, I ran one 50 mile race this year and one 100 mile race this year. I DNF'd in both races. DNF did not finish. That's not fun. One was an injury, the 50 mile race and the 100 mile race. I was battling the plantar fasciitis and frankly, guys, I just don't know if this body, if I am built for long, long distances at this point, I still have dreams in like 10 years from now running a 100 mile race. But let's just say I learned my lesson in 2018, long distance racing is not my forte. It's not my best distance to focus on moving forward. Huge lesson learned in 2018. I'm beyond excited now to focus on the 50K, the marathon, and the half marathon uphill running, aka the Pikes Peak Ascent. All right, goal number five. Goal number five, to start a running group in Denver, Colorado. That's right. If you're watching this and you live in the Denver area, I want to run with you. So that's goal number five is to start a running group. There you go. Goal number five, start a running group. I did not do that. Life happens, right? You get busy. You got to schedule these things. It gets, it, life gets busy. Therefore, goal number five, I'm going to actually call it right now. Goal number five is vaulting to the top of the list for 2019. And it's going to happen January 2019. And frankly, I'm just going to put myself out there right now, starting the first week of January 2019. We're going to talk more about that uh, at a later date. Unfortunately, guys, I don't live in Singapore, England, New York. Uh, you know, I can only be in one location at one time. You know, when can I buy locate? When can that happen? I would love to run with you guys all the time, but... For now, it's got to be in Denver, specifically the Front Range area. And so, yes, I will be starting a running group in early 2019, that first week. Stay tuned for more information, possibly even tomorrow. I'll be talking about that. So goal number five, and in review, goal number one, stay healthy. Goal number two, 400,000 vertical feet. Goal number three, win a race. Goal number four, complete a long race or Nolan's 14. Goal number five, start a running group. I only got one of them. I only got one of them. Goal number three, win a race. So 
guys that like I, I shoot for the stars sometimes right and you all we all set goals and I was pretty close on a couple of them that fifth one kind of kicks me that not I, that I did not get a, a running group off the ground but frankly I don't think I was even ready for it but now like now that we have this family here on YouTube it's gonna happen like that it's gonna happen so I'm excited for that and uh, so the keyword of course is goals and the question of the day did you set running goals for 2018? If so, what were they? And how did you do? Did you achieve them? Uh, did you fa did you fail on a couple of them like me? And listen, like fail is kind of a, a harsh word, but like we all it's it's I like, don't dwell on it too much. I'm a big fan of setting high goals and uh, you got to keep them within like that 400,000 vertical feet. Like I was 75,000 vertical feet short, which is a lot. It's a lot. I think that's two Mount Everest, if that meant, you know, two Mount Everest stacked on top of each other. It's a lot. But um, anyway, I, I'm not, I don't regret setting high goals because I think then you can really, really strive for them. And I'm going to talk about my 2019 goals here in about a week because I'm still trying to formulate what they will be and I'm excited. Thanks for answering the question of the day. And that is today's running, running vlog, even though I did not run today, but I'm, I'm really, really excited to read your answers down in the comments uh, to see how you guys did. Like, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So what a year we've had. I know it's not over for everybody. Keep going. If you have goals, like, and you're still fighting for those goals in this last, you know, basically two weeks, like, keep going. Like, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, guys. Whew. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other.